Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, off uh, here to show the latest version of my uh, schematic to command block utility. Uh, well, what is that utility, I hear you ask? Let me show you. I'll just put down a command block here. I'll paste in um, some text. And I'll power this command block. And you'll get something like this. Uh, I showed this off back in September, and uh, this is the same thing uh, from then. But this basically was a, a structure block, or a structure that I exported from the game with a structure block. Ran it through my utility, and it turns it into a command block command. That you can put into a command block, and execute, and you'll get the structure recreated in the game. Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, um, <laughs> to use structure blocks, if you want to copy parts of, of one world to another, you need access to the game files. Uh, so if you don't have access to the game files, my utility will basically give you a command block command that if you then have a <laughs> access to command blocks, either in single player or if you're an operator on a uh, server, you can then place the command block down, paste in the command like I showed, and uh, you'll get the structure recreated. Uh, these fish are basically knocking each other out uh, of this see, no walled aquarium. Um, but yeah, this is what I showed back in September. Uh, so what's new? Well, um, I'll, I'll show you what's new. <laughs> uh, let me put down a new command block. I'll run the utility. Uh, the download link is in the description. You'll download a zip file. Inside the zip file will be a jar file. My utility is really only tested in Minecraft Java. I definitely do have reason to believe it won't work in Bedrock. Um, but if you can run, you know, Java version of Minecraft, you should be able to run my utility. It's a Java program. Um, you could do something as simple as just Java jar and the name of my jar file which that should be it i am also specifying that it can use a maximum of eight gigs of memory it shouldn't need that much for normal size commandx i'm gonna have a few larger ones hopefully by the end here uh so you just run it it opens up uh, but now uh, the new <laughs> thing is it can now i support uh schematic files again uh which were Files made by MC Edit and a few other utilities uh, for Minecraft versions up to 1.12. Uh, so I am going to uh, navigate over to where I have some schematics. There we go. Correct demo. This is one I always use Creeper schematic. Uh, so for schematics, it, it does go through a, a process of converting it to the new format, uh, but this is still, this is a small, you know, schematic, it's not very big, so that it, it flashed by there, you may not have even noticed. Uh, the intent is you copy the command, I clicked this button which also copies it to my clipboard, you can paste it in here. Um, the way this works is you put down a command block where you, you know, at the corner of the build, the build will start here and the build will go south and east. I can show you, uh, I'm looking south and then this is east. So we'll start at the same level of the command block, uh, you know, one block to the south, one block to the east. You may need multiple command blocks and if you do, uh, you can either, you know, put them like that. Uh, or you can actually, you know, uh, normally the default is for them to continue to the east so that, you know, the line is above. Uh, but you can make other choices. Uh, I'll show you that in a short bit, but I'll power this. Here's our creeper base. Um, and it was, you know, all this stuff was specified in the schematic. I'll uh, even recreate items in brewing sands. Oops. 
items in chests, um, and you know, complex things, and it, it gets them. As far as I can tell, all right. <laughs> I've actually done a lot of testing, uh, and uh, I've actually even used uh, cube magnets test map uh, from uh, 1.12.1. And made sure that uh, all the stuff that is in that that I know of mm. is working correctly. Um, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, do one larger schematic. Um, so, you can read. Uh, while I'm doing the larger schematic, yeah, here here's like for new commands that you can put them to east note. Uh, with no space between the command blocks or you can do it with one space between command blocks or you can do like to the west or to the south or even specify mine cart command blocks or like hey keep replacing the command in the same command block um, you can set an offset so if you don't want it to build at the one south and one west you can zero 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 means one south and one west uh, but you can set additional offsets from there uh, there's a lot of options. Quiet uh, basically runs uh, to tell runs the turn command block output off command. Clear will fill the area first with air. Uh, no dangerous blocks will not place lava or fire or TNT. Uh, no monsters won't. You know, uh, you know. Besides just blocks, this will recreate entities. So no monsters will turn off. Uh, you know, mobs, creepers, skeletons, zombies. Uh, but we'll leave passive mobs like cows and pigs and chickens. No mobs is no mobs at all. Uh, normally, the default mode is to uh, for redstone wire not to power it, uh, so that it can be set with a fill command. Uh, but if you uncheck this, it then will be placed with the right power. Uh, limit command distance. Uh, oh, if <laughs> For very big schematics, the number of command blocks you may need may be wider than the uh, schematic. So if that's the case, this will uh, cut it off before the end of the schematic, and you'll need to place a second row. Uh, I have an older video that actually shows that. Uh, server safe, actually, the command blocks have a limited number of uh, text that can fit in them. Uh, server safe makes it even smaller than the limit uh, because at least on the one server I was playing on, having it very close to the limit was causing me to get kicked when I was pasting the text in. Now the text did go in, but I would get kicked every time. Server safe uh, limits it, uh, instead of like 32,000, it limits it to about 30,000 characters, and I wasn't getting kicked with that. Uh, if you have complex rails, normally rails are placed with other blocks, but rails are one of the few blocks that the order you place them in matters. So complex rails tries to figure out the correct order to place the rails in to get them to be the shape specified by the schematic or by the structure. Um, it does take more commands though, so if, if you don't have rails or they're very simple, they're, they're not touching other rails, it's just a single line, you can leave this off. I remove barriers, sometimes uh, certain things like uh, slime stone creations uh, would be you know, made with barrier blocks to hold them in position so they don't move as soon as they're spawned in. Uh, this will spawn it in and then run some commands to remove the barrier blocks if there's any. Uh, minimize water will only place the water source blocks and not any like the half filled blocks of water. Uh, and depending on the version of Minecraft this may work or you may need to update the source blocks to get them to flow. Uh, minimize entities will spawn in entities but like won't specify the health or like how much air time things that normally aren't needed but entities do remember uh, and anything that isn't specified will just be the default hollow out will uh, try to find areas of the schematic that are just like solid stone and just not specify them because you'll never see them uh, because they are they're surrounded you know any blocks that are surrounded on all other sides by other blocks that aren't transparent will be left out uh, clone areas, this is advanced and will take a while, but it tries to find 
hey, like you have a castle and the towers are all the same, so I can just clone one tower to another. But it takes a lot of processing power uh, to find cloned areas, but it can really reduce the number of commands and hence command blocks that are needed. And imperfect fills are also kind of similar to that. Uh, what this normally, if we do a fill, we only do a fill of an area we know is all the same block. This will try to find areas that, hey, this area is 90% or 80% or even 70% the same block. We'll do a fill like that and then put the right blocks back in the other spots. Uh, but again, that takes a lot of processing uh, to figure out. So uh, I am going to do this. This is that there was the com <laughs> uh, conversion to the new format and then figuring out uh, this used to take 17 command blocks uh, in 12 uh, 1 1.12 it now takes more command blocks as we now have to specify a lot more things with all the block data and just with everything used to be numbers and now it's all names so it, it takes up more space uh, I don't want to put 21 command blocks down so I will copy this this will actually let me uh, move over a little here and uh, you know what? Let me get some I'm gonna go up because this is supposed to be flying that's a uh, kind of uh, airship uh, put a command block down I'll paste in what I copied which is the command block generator command I'll now power this and there we go I'll now just break that torch and it places 21 command blocks for me and it makes this little flying machine uh, all these command blocks are not the same though. Every fifth one is mm -hmm. facing up. And if we went as far as 25, every 25th is facing south instead of north. Uh, so you can kind of follow along as you fill these in. You'll know the fifth one. You know, if you get to, you know, mm -hmm. copying the fifth piece of information, you know it goes in a command block that's facing a different way. So I'm going to click on this first command block and copy command 1 come up here paste and we do for 2 and 2 3 and 3 4 and 4 this is 5 and we're copying 5 6 7 Eight, nine. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> broke my mouse the other day, and well, not broke it. I spilled some juice on it, and the button is kind of sticky. So if you happen to have a problem like I just did, you can hit the reset button. It goes back to the first one, and I want to copy number nine again. Eight, copy nine paste and I had hoped I had gotten past the worst of this my mouse was acting better earlier today um, I think I paste the wrong one in there Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry about this. I had actually even, you know, actually just before recording this, done a whole lot of testing and didn't run into the problems I'm having actually right now. Paste. Done. Okay. That is number 15. Six, 
16. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Now it's all done. <laughs> I'll just wait a second and let the text disappear from my screen here. Alright, you come to the back of the flying machine, you find the observer that's the one with the face here, you put any block on it, that will launch the flying machine, the redstone block, as it passes each command block will activate it and recreate your structure or schematic. It you know, spawns in these command block minecarts that each have a command in it, and uh... You, go. you may see feathers being shot out the side. There is a uh, chicken cooker in here. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of work converting schematics. There we go. Uh, to the new format. I got nearly everything correct. Um, all, the, all the old blocks work, even the ones that have been renamed. Banners work they were a bit of a uh, you know challenge to figure out um, all the entities that I know of work even the ones that changed names um, the one issue I know of is sugarcane even though the sand is there and the water is there beforehand likes to break uh, so if you have sugar cane, just know that it does get placed, it just breaks instantly because it hasn't realized that, hey, yeah, I am on valid blocks yet. Um, but, yeah, all, all different types of woods work, doors work, they're all facing the right way, rails all work and face the right work way. Redstone and everything works. Signs with text work. Uh, item frames work. Paintings work. Um, I don't think I have anything in these chests, but I do have chests. Uh, let's go over here. You know, things with inventory work. Uh, even actually, are these enchanted? These, encha these picks keep the right enchantments. You know, it <laughs> spend a lot of time double checking that everything uh, still works correctly. Uh, where's this down? There we go. I got all these work. Um, You'll maybe have a few issues with rails, like these are supposed to be two rails going down, and just because rails like to be fussy, you know, these particular ones didn't get placed right, but like practically every other rail did uh, in this build. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the utility. Um, but wait, there's more. Um, <laughs> it was, as you can see, it was a, you know, that, this is pretty big, but it's not that big, and it took 21 command blocks. What if you have something bigger? Um, yeah, it's going to take more command blocks. But maybe you do have access to the world and the save. I've added a new option. Uh, my last utility, which was uh, playing around with uh, making uh, villagers with custom trades, I did that as a data pack, and I learned about data packs and working with data packs. So I now have a new data pack output type. Now this disables this new command offset because, hey, you don't need new commands, and it also disables these because they also don't apply if you're not using command blocks. But 
uh, this allows you to put a lot more commands. Basically, uh, data packs have function files. Function files can have up to, uh, I believe it's 65,536 commands, or 535. Uh, that was 6,000. So this whole thing would fit into one file in a data pack. Oh, and data packs can have more than one file. Uh, so let's let's do this Cascade City. I'll select it. I'll hit open. It runs through the conversion routine. It's like, okay, I got a zip file that's a data pack. I'm going to stick it in this data packs file here. Th that was 10,000 commands. That would have been a lot more command blocks. Uh, it's 100 by 100 approximately and 100 tall. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a single function. Uh, so, uh, this is the data packs directory of my save here. I will go to demo data pack. I will copy this, come over here, paste it, and uh, we'll go back into the game. We will type reload and this basically tells the game to refresh its data packs and uh, I'll now put down a command block I'll type function let's go back to command block cascade city help uh, and I'll run this as I say put a command block down in the build area the command block run the function function cascade city spawn this will recreate it. It's 101 by 102 by 109 tall, and it'll build starting one block south and one block east of the command block, and from the level of the command block and up. And hey, if you do set the offsets, these numbers will reflect where it will actually be built. So let's change the command in the command block to spawn. And now when we power it, and we wait a few seconds because while it is a command block, yeah, there, there was all the... <laughs> uh, let's hit F3 and A. Why is that spawning first? Maybe that's... Well, I don't know exactly why it takes time, but... Oh, there we go. It says done, and now everything else is appearing in. And I'm pretty sure that the cane, sugar cane isn't being done first. But here we go. We have this whole little thing in. It's a bunch of like bowls with water flowing from one to the other and little builds. I got a farm, we got some houses. But yeah, that would have taken probably a good 30 command blocks if not more to work. Uh, it's actually one thing I kind of forgot I wanted to do, but I'll do it now uh, to prove that this is all working off of actual schematics from actual old versions of the game. Uh, let's actually run an actual old version of the game. Uh, I believe it was this one, 1.12.2. Start anyway, yes, I know I'm running another version. Uh, I actually do have Minecraft set up to output uh, its log because that was very helpful in figuring out issues. Single player. Um, which. You are my test world. Unless I'm not having the right version. Oh, you know what? I am not having the right version. This was a test world. <laughs> you can see I have all different color blocks here. I copied stuff out, all different things I was testing. Um, I wanted 1.8.9. That's what we're going to be testing with. 
those for now. Yeah, so I have tested back to 1.8, uh, partially because things were different in 1.8. Um, you know, besides just a lot less blocks, um, you know, uh, this was before boats had two passengers, and the way entities rode other entities was completely different. Uh, Heads like that were called skulls, and not, like, skeleton he Well, skeletons are called skeleton skulls, but player heads were skull. And there was a, a data value indicating the type. Uh, you know, lots of different things here. I got uh, things in this chest. You know, this was not a wither skeleton skull. This was just skull with a different data value to differentiate it from that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll please leave zombie horse. Uh, thank you. Okay. Zombie horse is out of the way. Uh, zombie horses aren't supported in the latest one, so that's kind of why I went out of the way. Yes. Thank you. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna save and quit. Exit game. And close you and close you. We will now start up MC Edit. Uh, if you don't know what MC Edit is, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work for 113. In fact, it technically shouldn't work in 112 this version, but it does. Um, this was the test world. It basically lets you open the world show it to you. Here's where we were. Uh, that's me. I will highlight this area. I'll also grab the ground, please. Uh, there we go. No. That's the front. I want the... There we go. Ground. I'm gonna hit copy. Save. And this lets me create a schematic or an MBT file. My utility will work with schematics from old versions. MBT files have to be exported from 1.13 because all the names have changed and this won't have the right names. But I can say schematic. Um, I am also saving these into my My Documents file. I believe. Demo. Here we go. And I will just call this uh, 1.8 test world. We can now exit. Please exit. There we go. 1.8 test world. Open. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do a data pack. I'll do a command block because it's going to fit in one. <laughs> Copy command back into the 113 game, and you can see yes, this is 113.2. Paste done. Power. There we go. His armor's enchanted. We got stuff in the chest. Same banner. Enchanted books. Everything. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Um, it, uh, yeah. Uh, and finally, I've already done the conversion, but you can do very large uh, conversions. Um, so, I'm a fan of Hermitcraft. I've watched a few of the Hermits. Where's the. Uh, so I have taken the Hermitcraft Season 3 Hermit Thrills area of the map. They release the map at the end of their seasons. So this is uh, a few hundred blocks on each side. Let's copy that into the data packs. Uh, type reload here. Uh, should be good. Helps.
function. Uh, so I'll run the help. And it helps if I actually hit tab to complete the the text. Um, so you can see here, it's there's actually six different commands that need to be, or not commands, but function files. And it's 350 by 325 by 213 high. Uh, so if you need more than uh, one function file, I add an extra function. So besides spawn, spawn will recreate it, but I create a spawn flying. Uh, if you set spawn flying, make sure you're flying. And this actually teleports you to, to the center of the build area above the build. Uh, that way you can... S <laughs> Basically, if you don't have part of the build within your view distance, it probably won't build. Uh, so because this puts you in the center, it keeps as much as possible within the view distance. So uh, I'm going to put down the torch here and get instantly teleported. All right, you can see the command block is over there. This will take a minute or two. Uh, basically, we should be able to see the results of each command or each function file as it finishes, and then it automatically calls the next function file. Uh, but yeah, this will take a little bit of time. All right, uh, sorry about that. I had a, a small little issue. Uh, that actually I had fixed, but I apparently made this schematic or made the converted the schematic before I fixed it. Uh, small typo. But uh, here we'll run the command, and uh, I will manually fly over. You know, normally the flying uh, version, uh, spawn flying would automatically stick you over the center of the schematic being spawned in um, but yeah I have to do it manually this time but it'll work with the version up for download uh, I have a crazy huge draw distance set up right now just so uh, there's no issues you know as long as you have your draw distance uh, large enough to fit the whole schematic there shouldn't be a problem um, or you can, if you're on a server, you can get multiple people to help keep the area loaded. But yeah, the area has to be loaded uh, for the schematic to come in correctly. And uh, I do give you a warning uh, of the draw distance you'll need uh, if it's excessive or, or uh, at least above the default of, uh, I think, 12 is the default. Uh, so this will just take hopefully a, a minute or two to spawn in. And... Uh, see that schematic uh, it's actually a good one I was using for testing because it has a lot of different blocks oh. <laughs> and uh, here it is spawning in apparently I didn't get high enough at first and then the game's like oh you didn't go over those so this is all the bedrock this was uh, actually from a uh, what they call it uh, terrain that uh, amplified terrain, extra high mountains. So we'll see some really big. Yeah. So this is basically the result of the first function, or maybe the first two function files. And then as more run, we should see their results. Hopefully momentarily.
You can see uh, mostly stone and <laughs> deep patches of, uh, you know, uh, diorite and gra uh, granite and andesite and all that. Um, also, actually, probably not from this distance, but see coal and oh, here comes some more coal and iron ore and other things like that. All right, uh, should be just one more command or so. And I think it's done, except for actually like rendering. <laughs> actually, it will say done in the chat when it has finished. Yeah, so it probably has one more command to go, uh, but a little bit of lag there. And there we go. Says done. <laughs> so all that's really left is for it actually to render out and you can see it's starting to go it, it, if you get close to an area it will update uh, but it takes longer for the further parts to go but yet yeah, uh, here it is the hermit thrills amusement park a whole bunch of different little mini games and things like that uh, we got a merry-go-round with horses and uh, in battleships and you can see we got you know a book oh I don't want to click that so but the book even has this text signs have their text banners render incorrectly and yeah this was like 325 by 350 and uh, yeah it seems correct to me <laughs> and you know we got rails and all sorts of you know redstone stuff and it should all work Let's see a clock is going there and there's randomizers going off that at least for this one, randomizes which lane gets a minecart and things like that. And, uh, yeah. That's my utility schematic to command block. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you find the utility useful. If you do, please comment below. Any issues, uh, again, put them uh, in the issue tracker. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.